We start the point of the French Revolution. I think it is one of the most important points in this unit. After the American Independence War in Europe, everything went on exactly the same way. So there are several countries, a lot of different states, and most of them are ruled by absolute monarchs. Enlightened despots, uh, kings uh, using the ideas of the Enlightenment, but actually they were absolute monarchs, absolute kings. There are exceptions, you know, in Britain there is a constitutional monarchy, but the king has a lot of power too. So, this is what we know, the king is the source of all powers, this is the most important example. Uh, Louis XIV, this is from the 17th century, but the, during the 18th century kings mm, uh, behaved exactly the same way. But in France a uh, huge revolution happened. Why in France and why this revolution happened? We are going to consider different factors, different ideas, causes, why this revolution happened in France. What happened? So different factors were combined and then something happened. For example, this is a symbol, this is the, the killing of Julius Caesar. The one is the liberal ideas. These liberal ideas, the economic and political liberal ideas, were very important in France, spread in France, and then people, intellectuals, and especially high bourgeoisie, they started questioning, they started questioning the king. And they saw the king was an absolute monarch with a lot of power, and he worried not a lot for his people so they started asking why the system was like that and then society was divided into privileged and non-privileged people privileged people clergy and nobility had more rights than unprivileged people so this is what people is or people are questioning another important factor is the example they see okay uh, in france we have an absolute monarchy and the rest of europe there is exactly the same, so this is the way. But now in the United States they know there is a new country, a country they helped to create because France supported the British settlers, the British colonies against Britain. So they know they cre they have created a new country in America and there they are, uh, there is no king, there are no different states, no nobility, so all of them are equal. The constitution of the United States says all citizens are equal, so they have an example. The United States set an example for the rest of the of Europe, for the rest of the world. So in France, they are questioning why not? They did that, and they are working like that, and everything is okay. And why not here? Why shouldn't we have a Why should we have a, a king? A third factor that it's important is money. So the third state, unprivileged people, peasants, uh, bourgeoisie workers, artisans, they have to pay taxes to the state, to the king. But they see, uh, actually, the king is not, uh, sorry, the king of the nobility is not paying taxes to the king. And the clergy is not paying taxes to the king. And the richest uh, social groups are clergy and nobility. So the r rich people are not paying taxes and poor people are the people who actually are paying taxes. So the, this is another factor that is, that is making people feeling, of course, angry. Imagine you have to pay a lot, and, but you are poor and you see rich people close to you with more rights and they don't have to pay the same, you must pay. Last factor is a crisis. And crisis in this period means people is starving. People, people are starving. People haven't got food to eat. So that means uh, a crisis. Crisis is something in this period, is something horrible. So nowadays we know we are in crisis. So perhaps we lose our jobs, but the state gives us a stipendium, some, something to survive. Or if not, we can get something from the state. If the state helps you, if you have health problems, you can go to the hospital. It doesn't matter if you have money or not, you can go to the hospital, you can go to school. In this period, no. If you don't have money, you cannot eat, you cannot take care of yourself. If you get ill, bad luck, you die. Uh -huh. So, they see France has a huge crisis <coughs> because the uh, agricultural production is not very good these years. And at the same time, they paid a lot. They spent a lot of money helping the British uh, colonies fighting against Britain. And before that, during the Seven Years' War, France fought against Britain and lost the war. So France lost territories, lost colonies, and of course, lost resources. At the same time, the nobility, especially the king and royal family, they are spending, wasting a lot of money. They have luxury, luxurious palaces, 
luxurious uh, parties and they don't they don't care about people and people are dying they are dying of starvation they have nothing nothing to eat so these factors together the example of the united states this economic crisis this suffering of people and these ideas uh, about uh, why not change things led to a um, discontent to a social unrest people started criticizing openly criticizing the king and the king ministers these king's ministers the economy ministers they are trying to solve the the economic problems of the kingdom but they cannot so they ask they suggest the king to make the nobility and the clergy to pay taxes then the state receives more money and they can spend more money on but there is an assembly, notable assembly, an assembly formed up by the nobility and the clergy and they together they agree they don't want to pay taxes they are not going to pay taxes because that's their privilege so the king calls for a meeting of the three states nobility clergy and the third state that means uh, they need a, a meeting from everyone to get one solution to come to a solution so they demand people to present these states to present books of grievances there were books of grievances what is not working what do they need so they this these three social groups these three states presented their books of, of grievances and the states general this meeting with the king there and the three different states met to solve this situation because they are in a real situation so the king suggested everyone should pay taxes to help the state and they voted they have the right to vote the problem is each state has a vote so nobility voted no pay taxes nobility uh, clergy voted to not pay taxes and the third state voted yes we must pay taxes everyone two against one so this taxation was completely useless. So the third state realized they cannot win. It's impossible because nobility and clergy always they are allies. So they left the states general and they created a national assembly. And in this in this meeting, this national assembly, they realized and they considered themselves the only uh, real power in France.